Um, Coach Norvell said, you know, everybody had the same feeling coming out of that game, being disappointed with the special teams performance. Did you see that coming at all? Because obviously that group has played pretty well uh, for most of the season. Yeah, no, I, I, no, I, I didn't see it coming. But, you know, the, the, the two cover units, I, you know, probably did a, did a solid job, our kickoff cover and our, our punt cover. But we got to impact games. And uh, we didn't impact games in the return game. Um, and that led to us not winning the hidden yardage battle, which really hasn't happened this year. So, um, you know, stuff to absolutely clean up. Um, definitely more on the return side, though, than, than on the cover side. Although there's things in all areas that we can be better at, for sure. John, I guess, you know, earlier in the season, you're, you're pretty confident that, you know, come November, this team would, would be improving. We, we would see that kind of progress. And I know it's just one game. You know, Kenny pointed out the fact that even though the losses are starting to kind of accumulate, he does see the offense getting better. I mean, for your units and I don't know, defensive ends or special teams, I mean, what are you seeing? Uh, you think that's tangible improvement? Uh, in some respects, um, you know, you'd have to talk unit by unit on special teams, but um, I think our kickoff coverage, you know, the guys as they continue to get more reps continues to be a, a pretty solid unit for us. Um, I think we've rolled some new guys in in terms of the ends on the punt coverage, but uh, I thought Ja'Kai Douglas has, has gotten better every week he's been out there. Alex Mastromano, I think, is, is continuing to grow, so I think there's some positive there. I haven't really liked our, our development from a return game perspective, um, but there's a lot of factors that go into that um, as, as to why. In terms of the defensive ends, and I think uh, even though it doesn't always reflect it from a statistical standpoint, I do see some progress from guys. Um, is it where we need to be? It's, it's not even really close, but um, I do see us heading in the right direction. And, and as much as anything, I like the mindset and approach that a lot of guys in the room have. Um, the results aren't there right now, and, and everyone can see that. But um, the things that are, are happening you know, in the meeting rooms and um, you know, on the practice field, I see, I see a buy-in from a lot of the key guys on this football team, and, and that's, that is a, a step in the direction we want to take it. Hey, Coach, you mentioned uh, um, the buy-in from some of your guys in your room. Obviously, you guys moved Warner from linebacker to defensive end uh, or the Fox position. How, how did that go for him in his first game, and uh, we, uh, did you get good production from Leonard? when he was in the game. Uh, yeah, you know, he's Leonard since for the, for the several weeks that he's been with us has, has been working hard, buying in. It's a lot to process and a lot to, to, to do in a, in a short amount of time from a fundamental standpoint. But uh, I liked what he did in the game uh, the other day in terms of effort and, and physicality at, at the line of scrimmage. Um, there's a lot of things that, that we got to continue to develop with Leonard, but the want to and the great attitude and, and just wanting to be part of something is there for Leonard and, I'm happy to work with him, and I'm glad we have him there because I do think he can help us up front. The, I guess two of the three coaches we've spoken to already have, have relayed the story about Asante coming to you and wanting to be on the punk coverage unit. Since you had the conversation, I was curious, uh, did has he done that before, um, or what kind of led to that? Uh, you know, Asante obviously is is uh, very prideful in, in his performance and the team's performance, and. Um, you know, we tried because of, of some limited numbers uh, at corner come, going into the week. We tried to limit all those guys' roles on special teams. Uh, you know, so uh, Jarvis didn't play his normal role on special teams. Asante didn't play his normal role. Um, but at the end of the game, when uh, when we were in a couple of punt situations, um, it, it happened on a couple of occasions, but I put him in on the last punt. Asante wanted to get in there and help. You know, he, he said he thought he could – could provide something from a, from a punt coverage aspect um, that would help the team. And uh, even though he had already played a bunch of reps and the game was already out of hand, um, he wanted to go be part of it. And, and I do think that is a positive sign when you have older veteran players um, that have enough buy-in and enough pride in what we're doing from a special team's perspective that they think they can help. And, uh, you know, that, that that's what it's going to take because, you know, as you look at some key contributors on special teams, uh, throughout most of the year. Some of those guys are in different roles. Some of those guys aren't playing as much as they were um, before. So you need everybody to step up and collect and buy-in to continue to happen. And, 
and I do feel like that's the case. So, um, you know, when, when you do have a, a buy-in and, and a collective pride in what you're doing, it will ultimately lead to success. And then just, you mentioned the return game earlier and, and a variety of factors. Um, is it, is it not consistently getting blocked up well enough um, or do you guys need more from the, the return guys themselves? I mean, you know, you would have, you would have to evaluate each, each re return kind of independently because, um, you know, early, especially early in the year, I thought we had some blocked up really well that we just didn't hit the way it needed to be hit uh, at a return spot. I didn't think we blocked it really well the other day, you know, so I, you could kind of, pointed a lot of different things that, that have led to some inconsistency, especially on the kicker off return unit. Um, but I didn't, I didn't think we did a good enough job blocking and get the return started the other day. Um, that wasn't necessarily, I didn't feel like that was the case throughout the course of the year, but that was the case on Saturday. All right, thank you. Thank you guys.